Welcome everyone, I'm Melissa Birch from the Clean Energy Resource Teams and I'm here to tell you about the Minnesota Green Step Program. Just a word about CERTs before we start though. The Clean Energy Resource Teams are a statewide partnership with a mission to connect people to the resources they need to do clean energy projects. We empower communities to do energy efficiency, conservation, and renewable energy projects around Minnesota. Now, on to Green Step. Minnesota Green Step is a free voluntary program that helps cities and tribal nations achieve their sustainability and quality of life goals. It is designed to be flexible, cost effective, and pragmatic. There are currently 121 cities and three tribal nations from across the state in the program and counting. And the program members represent the diversity of our state in size, geography, and political persuasion. Minnesota Green Step cities emerged out of regional listening sessions in greater Minnesota in 2007. The idea gained traction in the legislature and the program itself was launched in 2010 at the League of Minnesota Cities Conference. When it was launched, the program had three steps, but in 2016 and 2017, at the request of cities who wanted to dig a little deeper, steps four and five were added. The program itself has, a no has nine different partners who assist with it in a variety of ways. These partners range from the League of Minnesota Cities to CERTs to state agencies to various nonprofits. Green Step Cities has a whole bunch of different benefits. It's tailored to Minnesota Cities because it grew up here. It saves cities money. It's a one-stop shop that connects cities to state, nonprofit, and institutional resources. It's great because it provides leadership roles for the community and continuous encouragement and prompts, and it, it also documents progress. And finally, it provides peer and public recognition for accomplishments. The program is built around 29 best practices with 170 possible actions to implement those best practices. I'll talk a little more about what those best practices are in a moment, but first I want to talk about the steps. Those are the recognition levels. There are five steps. At step one, the city council approves a resolution to join Green Step. At step two, the city completes any four, six, or eight best practices, depending on what city category the city falls into. And those city categories are part of what builds the flexibility into the program, making it work for different sized cities and different capacities. At step three, the city completes eight, 12, or 16 best practices, including a few high priority ones. Step four is a little different. That's when the city starts to report performance metrics on a variety of different sustainability indicators. And at step five, the city starts to show improvement on, met on those metrics. The best practices fall into five different categories. One is building and buildings and lighting. Two is land use. Three is transportation. The fourth is environmental management. And then the fifth is economic and community development. A lot of the Green Step program resources center around the Green Step website. On the website, you find not only the reporting page, but also best practice implementation tools, uh, completion guidance for the best practices, action reports from cities that include who to contact for more Im information and public or private part sector part partners from those cities so that you can learn from other cities what they've done and there's a lot of peer learning that goes on in the Green Step program. You can get information on steps one through five. You can also learn about um, 
learn from best practice advisors because there's a best practice advisor for every single best practice so that you can contact them to get more information. And there are model ordinances that you can use to help uh, define your own ordinances for your cities. Once you get to step four, as I mentioned, you start reporting metrics. Um, and that's because if you don't measure results, you can't tell success from failure. And if you can't see success, you can't reward it. And if you can't see failure, you can't correct it. So cities in the Green Step program are motivated by cost savings as they eliminate wasted energy and other types of waste, by peer recognition, and by the sustainability framework. So how do you become a Green Step City? Well, first, you want to build some community support. Uh, it's also a good idea to identify some of the best, practice, best practices that your city is already doing or would be interested in doing and identify a Green Step contact person. This doesn't have to be a city staff person. Then you have your city council sign a resolution to participate, and then you start taking action. So if you're interested, contact us, cleanenergyresourceteams.org. Thanks for watching.